how can you start reading Thai? When is the right time to start reading Thai? And how can you start from these practice sentences and start going towards reading actual pages in a novel in Thai? It's not an easy answer, but at the same time, there are some rules that you can try that will help you move along in your uh, Thai reading. So let's answer the first question. When? When do you start reading Thai? Well, the first thing you should start doing is start out with the karaoke words. They are a good way to start out how to transition from English to Thai language. So you have to know some vocabulary, you have to know some basic sentences before you can actually start reading itself. And then you can recognize them from identifying what you've said before and what you're reading on the paper. So where I would start is once you get into a level of speaking where you know how to introduce yourself, where you know how to order some food, some very basic stuff as you would any language whatsoever. So if you were traveling to a different country and you started out learning some languages and you were able to get, your, get by with a minimal amount of Thai, that's where I would start going, okay, let's start transitioning to learning the letters. The next thing to do is identify a lot of common words that you use in Thai. As you are learning the Thai alphabet, it gets really boring after a while if you're just reading the letters over and over again. You want to get started reading right off the bat, and you can, but all you have to do is literally highlight some of your favorite foods you like in Thai. You've memorized the words in Thai, you know how to order that in Thai, so what does that word look like in Thai? And from there, you start identifying the different vowels, different consonants that actually go with those words. You don't have to be 100% on it, you just need to be able to look at it and understand what that means. And then it'll get your brain to start thinking what different parts of that word and how the grammar starts to work together. So you can start reading Thai early on without having to go through the entire Thai alphabet or the entire uh, vowel structure which is very complicated in itself. Once you get past a certain level of reading, once you understand all those words, and once you've memorized a lot of the alphabet, um, the next thing to just start doing is trying to begin very simple sentences. And I'm talking the ones that you learned from your book. Like these ones right here. These are good example sentences that are small enough that you can pick it apart if you need to. The next thing is just to repeat it so that you don't have to slowly go left to right to identify it. All you have to do is just look at it like how sometimes we read English. Once you've gotten some basic sentences out of the way, so a lot of words out of the way, and you start to recognize a lot of these words as you're walking around, then we can start getting into the grammar structure. And that's where you're going to need to use your Thai books to identify how the vowels work, or all those little minor things that just don't make sense to you. Also, once you start getting to the level where you're able to read Thai sentences, you're going to want to block those karaoke lines out of the way. It's not what you want to do anymore. You're past that level, so you just keep, you block them out. All right, never look back on those karaoke lines again once you've started reading Thai. As you keep going along with this, following your Thai textbooks or even reading small like excerpts from, the web, from websites or whatever, you're eventually gonna go from sentences to paragraphs to full pages on a book, all right? Now, this is where it starts getting way more complicated than anything else. The problem is with Thai language is that there's a difference between the speaking and the reading portion of Thai language. Um, Thai literature is much more different than, uh, than the, speaking, uh, the speaking portion of Thai. So what you have to do is do a few things. One, decide what you're trying to read Thai for. Do you want to read a book that you like in Thai? Or do you want to read a book that's really hard to decipher and you wanted to understand some information in Thai, such as maybe translating an old cookbook that's in Thai that maybe has some details that you want to learn. Or maybe even uh, learning about Thai history or Thai weapons or Muay Thai and all these things that, uh, and learn what the little details are in those. The problem is, is that you have to pick that out. And this is where your the boring dictionaries process comes in. Because unfortunately, a lot of Thai books only go up to a certain point. And that's it. Um, past that, you start learning this on your own. I'll tell you one thing. If you read books like Harry Potter, or Percy Jackson, or anything that in Thai, it is so much easier. I can read Harry Potter no problem in Thai. The problem is, is once you start getting into much harder books. Yeah, here's an example right here of what I'm trying to read. Uh, this is uh, Ruaki Sat Lana. This is uh, about the history of Lana. On top of it is actually not Thai language. This is, uh, it looks like, uh, Looks like Burmese writing. 
But anyway, there's a lot of um, a lot of uh, writing in this one with some examples and a lot of things that a lot of vocab words that I'm not going to understand right off the bat. So it's going to take you longer to understand this kind of book than it would be to say read a book that's from English to Thai. So starting that way would also be easier. However, you are going to have to get to this point. And this point, all you have to do is go through the book, highlight the words you don't know, and translate it. And remember, try to read through the sentence first. The thing you got to realize is that as you're reading Thai, most books do not have spaces. Now they have paragraphs that are separated. And all the books, they do kind of separate them in paragraphs. But unlike English, they don't separate them into sentences like we do. It's just one straight line all the way down until the paragraph is finished. You start slowly identifying that once you go from sentence to paragraph to, to pages. And it's easier to pick up those things. But remember to read the full thing through before you decide what is that word. Because sometimes when you read pick apart Thai, sometimes it seems like one word, but then you forget different pieces of it, and then it becomes a whole different thing. Anyway, that's my advice on how to uh, read Thai or start reading Thai or get to a really advanced point. Uh, remember, the best thing to do is to just, just take it slow, relax, and take your time with it. It is a long, it is a long process, but not too long. So you always improve upon yourself, and that always makes you feel a little bit better, once you kind of look back on where you started from and coming to where you are now. Anyway, if you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe this video, subscribe to my channel. Um, hopefully I'll have more advice for you guys soon. Thank you very much. Sorry, Krav.